Kia ora My name is Mr. Ashley and I'm here to teach you how to turn your ordinary A-frame whiteboard into a whiteboard table. So if that seems like your sort of thing, then you need to stick around and I'll see you in the video. So, this video is specifically for fellow teachers because it's not going to be really useful to anyone else other than a teacher, uh, particularly if you've got this piece of furniture right here. Now, um, what you can see here is a normal standard A-frame uh, whiteboard, and what we're going to be doing with it is we're going to be turning this A-frame whiteboard into a really simple whiteboard table. Now, this idea was um, suggested to me by my colleague, uh, Miss Waller. Um, and she really wanted a whiteboard table and so did I really. We've both used one before and seen how good it is to conference children and work with children and as part of maths groups or whatever you're doing at the time um, and knew the benefit of it. But like any school, um, anywhere in the world, you're really um, constrained by the resources that are available to you and your room size. If you've got one of these, you can't just randomly go and chuck a whiteboard table in your room because it's going to take up a lot of valuable real estate um, and also your school might not have access to give out everyone whiteboard tables so if you've got some of these and some of the whiteboard tables you're either going to get one of one or the other if that makes sense but what if we can turn this into a whiteboard table and that's what we thought about and I'd come up with an idea to do it now these white uh, a-frame whiteboards, the, the company that makes them, in order the, for them to have that A-frame shape, they put a hinge there, which, if, you, if you're the guys that made it, thanks very much, you saved me half the work. So, what you're going to do is you'll pull out your A-frame whiteboard, and there's this um, little wooden uh, piece here that holds your whiteboard markers. Now, what you want to do is you want to Un, uh, undo that from both, both sides because that's what the A-frame part is attached to and then you lift the whole thing off and detach your whiteboard marker holders and then reapply them on their own back to the actual bench part itself then what happens is now that you've detached the whiteboard section from the base you can lift the whole thing off now what we figured out is Depending on what you really want to do with it, you could work with your group down on the floor with your whiteboard and shove him out the way. Or you can open up the whole thing flat and lay that across your base and it has to go in the opposite direction to what it normally would for, in order for the base to be able to support itself. So you can see that um, mine's nice and high too, so my students have the ability to fit nice and comfortably under there because I fit nice and comfortably under here. And we've got two different sections. Ideally, the teacher would want to be sitting in the middle so you can get the coverage of the room. But the other thing that we thought of too is if you still use modeling books in your class, you can clip your modeling books to one side and let the children do the work on the other side so you're constantly able to see what's going on. Hypothetically then, if you've got a group that are all green lights, which is a reference to Lucy Cheeseman and her maths, if you've got, I've got a bunch of children that are green lights and you want them to start doing some work on their own and you've got a group of kids that are orange or red lights and you need to be working with them, you turn the configuration of your table and supply your children with some follow-on work and fold the section down so they can see it and then you've still got this section at the top here to be able to work with the red and orange lights. So now you've got kids working down on the mat in front of you where you can see what they're doing. And I've got children here that I'm able to work with as a smaller group to help develop their understanding of whatever the task is. So I wanted to share this with everyone because it's a free idea. You're not damaging these in any way, so your, your school won't get mad at you. All you're doing is undoing some screws and effectively um, improving and making a piece of uh, school equipment more efficient because it does more jobs. Um, and also, you know, you're saving space. You've got a whiteboard table, you've got an A-frame whiteboard, you've got, uh, you could take this all down and put it up against the, the wall for a group working on the floor. You know, this, it becomes much more versatile than it was. So, 
I hope you like this idea and I hope people give it a go and give it a try and it's what people are looking for. Um, but if you like this video, please hit like. Um, check out the back catalogue of videos that we're doing. A lot of what I do is um, for the student uh, and craft projects and things like that. And So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, have a look through my back catalogue and subscribe to my channel because we're always doing crazy things around here. Special thanks to my colleague for suggesting the idea. Thanks, Miss Waller. Um, and thank you to the teachers for inspiring me to do more challenging things all the time. But for now, kā kite no, and I'll see you next time on Mr Ashley's Place.